If you've ever worried about your golf swing, if you've ever thought about the backswing and the downswing and what do you need to do in the follow through and you're thinking that at the same time, get ready, buckle up. We're taking all that out right here. Look at this, no hands, no hands, no hands, just shoulders. When you learn how to do this, your consistency is going to go way through the roof. In fact, this is the moment where you become a consistent ball striker. It's when you take the hands out of the golf swing. So we're gonna talk about today an easy way to take the hands out of the swing, why you shouldn't be using your hands in the swing in the first place, and some bonus things at the end to help you understand the golf swing a whole lot more. Make the golf swing easy for you. So the first thing is the dead hand swing. Why do a dead handed swing? What powers the swing then? The hands. You'd think that, well, I've got my hands on the club, so they have to control the club. They're doing all the moves. I've got to have a big awareness of what my hands are doing in the swing. Well, don't worry so much about that because the shoulders are the key to mastering the golf swing. If you think about using bigger muscles, then the other parts of your swing, like the arms, hands, and club, will follow along and trace the same path every time. Why does it matter that you do this? Because if I want to hit the ball to my target, and if I want to do this time and time again while talking to you on camera, I have to learn how to have quiet hands. And that ball is flushed straight to my target. And I was able to do that because I told my hands to do nothing. So looking at the swing, what do the hands do? Why would we use our hands? The hands are the masters of the club face. And when I start here at setup, I've got my club face pointed towards the target. I want the ball to start towards my target. That's why the club face is pointed there. So it's pointed like this. Now, what should I do with these hands if I want the club to go back to point at the target at impact? Nothing. I want to return this to the same spot, impact. Backswing, impact. Backswing, impact. Ball is going to go to my target. It's only when I start doing some hand turns, backswing, impact, that the ball gets haywire. And that's where you see those GX7 commercials where the guy's like chucking his clubs and it's going all over the place and the, the ball looks like spaghetti on the screen. Those are golfers who have a lot of hand issues in their swing. We just say, hey, shh, don't do anything. I got a better idea. How about you just hold on to the club and I'll tell my shoulders to move the club. This is where it opens up. This is where everything starts to make sense. It all clicks now. A no hand swing, if I just kept my hands quiet, swing my shoulders, watch this, boom. My hands didn't do anything. Look, all right, I, I, this is, I shouldn't be telling you this. This is like gold. Starting out like this at setup. Remember this position. Don't forget it. Take it back. Boom. Look, it matches. It matches where I started. No hands. Continue back to the top. I'm on plane. Club's going off the proper path. Continue back. Boom. Club face, square. Not open. No cup wrist. No need to bow the wrist. I got a flat wrist. Quiet hands. Watch this. Start down. Doing nothing with the hands. Club face staying square. Look at this. The club shaft's on the proper path. Continue moving through the ball. Boom, where did I return? Boom, back to square. I did a whole lot of explaining there, but what you needed to know is that I started square, didn't change my hands, went to the top of the backswing, I was square, didn't change my hands, went to impact, it was square. And I know it's gonna happen. So I can just say to you with confidence that I can get over this ball just swing my shoulders and keep the hands quiet. And that ball is going to start to my target every time. There's the consistency. There's you dropping 10 or 20 shots. Like, let's say you're 100 to 90s golfer. Hello, low 80s and then the high 70s all of a sudden. And if you're somebody who's in that low 70s, hello 60s. Because you can start being a whole lot more consistent now. So we're going to look at how we would go about doing a hands-free swing. You know they got these cell phone laws 
they talk about, hey, you got hands-free, you gotta have the hands-free headset and stuff or else we'll arrest you. Well, it's kind of like the same thing. I'm like the swing police. And if I see people using their hands, I'll come by. And I swear I'm watching. I'm watching you in those trees, from those trees. So, to take the hands out of the swing, you just saw a good chunk of it. I didn't rotate. I didn't rotate the hand at all, or either hand. None of this. Look at this. You see how my shoulders are just staying here? And then I'm rotating, I'm windshield wiping with my hands. This is the no-no. No more windshield wipers. No more driving in the rain. Set up like this, and then let the shoulders move the club around the body. It is the same thing I just showed you right there. And it's straight, again. Isn't that beautiful? That's what I'm teaching people in the Segudo.golf online golf school. Doing that consistent, powerfully, time and time again quiet hands. So what are some of the problems with using your hands? And this is really going to help you make the swing easier so you understand your swing better. I don't want you to just go out there and try tips. Like, that doesn't do anything. What, you truly begin to master your swing when you know your swing. This is why you need to know what your hands are doing and why it's a problem when you use your hands. All right, let's say I turn my hands in the first part of the swing. Boom, the club's way behind me. Let's go to the top now. Boom, it's really, really shallow. Some would say that's very flat. What do I start on the way down? Well, I could, I could have the club too shallow and there's a shank. Or I could do the opposite. It's over the top. That's hands. What do I do? In the first part of the swing, I might have to lift my arms and rotate my hands. Oh my gosh. This is kind of exhausting to narrate all of the possibilities. I could sit here all day leaving that camera running and say all the possibilities. Hands, 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 hands. I feel like those people, those, uh, those geese or those uh, seagulls in Nemo. My, 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 my. Hands, 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 hands. <laughs> everywhere. It's everywhere. I don't know of a better way to play good golf than just say no, no. No, I'm not using my hands at all. I'm using my shoulders. If you want to know how to use the shoulders, I've got a free ball striking mini class, go.segudo.golf. Shows you how to start getting on that track and then segudo.golf. Show you the shoulders. It's the breakthrough. You, don't, you could sit around trying to time up like a monkey. Like you're just swinging between vines or you can just get over it and then shoulders. And there it goes again. And it's predictable. Every club in the bag. It feels like cheating. It feels like cheating. And it's not because, really, you should be hacking into the golf swing. Make it easier for yourself. It doesn't need to be so hard. No hands. Bad. I remember seeing a guy He's talking to his dog like this. I was in Florida, backyard. He said, no. <laughs> every morning, every morning at 7 o'clock, no, no. I'll never forget that. Maybe I got PTSD from that, but I always thought he was talking to me. I'm like, what, what, what's going on? No. That's how I feel about my hands, though. No. You're bad. <laughs> straight again. Start direction's the same. I used to have the most inconsistent swing on the planet, by the way. Back in high school, it was just a mess. Because I was like this. Ugh. Oh my goodness, this is great. I just love the feeling of a crisp, straight shot. And I love that you could go out and create this today if you wanted to just by telling your hands to do no. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you in a future episode.